Hello, my name is Pastor Andy Schreier from Redeemer Lutheran Church. It's hot right now. That's the reality of summer in South Texas. And summer is just starting. It's going to get really hot really soon down here in Texas. But not just here in Texas. There's, there's a big heat wave going across our entire country. According to a lot of the experts, this summer is going to be a really hot summer and a lot of records are going to be broken. Something I hear people say at times like this is, it's hotter than hell out there. You ever hear anybody say that? And yes, it is hot outside. It's miserable. But if you think this is bad, the Bible describes hell as a place of weeping and gnashing of teeth where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. I mean, just picture being burned alive forever. The punishment of hell is complete separation from God and His love, being locked out of His presence forever. Hell is, is a place of pure punishment and pain. You know, our world often treats it as a, as a punchline. We, we joke about how hot it is. We laugh as movies and TVs, TV shows make light of it. But the truth is, hell is horror. Hell is suffering beyond our darkest nightmares. I mean, working under the hot Texas sun doesn't even come close. We really have no concept of how horrible hell is. And thanks to Jesus, we never will. You know, every person on this planet deserves to burn forever in the fiery lake of hell. The Apostle Paul tells us the wages of sin is death. The punishment of just one sin is an eternity in the fires of hell. And each of us has a lot more than just one sin. Every little lie, every dirty thought, every ugly word deserves the flames of hell. But Jesus suffered that hell for us. As he hung on that cross, God the Father rained down on him the pain and agony of hell. What human eyes could not see were the fists of God punishing Jesus for all of our sins and failures. On that day 2,000 years ago, Jesus suffered the punishment of hell in our place. And because he did, God forgives us. He promises that whoever believes in him will not perish in hell but have the eternal life of heaven. All those who believe in Jesus will never know what hell feels like. You and I will never be able to fully appreciate what Jesus suffered for us because we will never have to experience the scorching agony of the hell we deserve. That's why it's so often easy for us and others to take for granted what Jesus did for us. That's why it's so easy to joke about hell or compare it to, to really hot days here in South Texas. Our world today often fails to grasp the seriousness of sin and the horror of hell. Even as Christians, we tend to not talk about it much anymore. Many churches and pastors don't want to bring people down. They don't want to, to talk negatively. But maybe if we spent a little more time honestly talking about our sins and that horrible, fiery pit of hell they deserve, we might appreciate all the more the love of a God who suffered that horror and that pain in our place. 